This is the latest army tactic to try to win a long-running war against separatist fighters in southern Thailand. They're visiting the house of a suspected bomb maker who's believed to be across the border in Malaysia. They arrive with clothing and medicine for his wife in the hope she can convince him to come home. The trust-building exercise is trying to improve the army's reputation. Thailand's three southernmost provinces have been under martial law for more than 10 years, which has allowed the military to act with impunity. The outgoing soldier in charge of this area acknowledges their methods had to change. The understanding of non-violence has to start with government officers first. All officers have to understand their roles, responsibilities and scope of power. Many are skeptical. Tayudin had been providing food and support to one of the armed groups fighting for independence when he came under scrutiny by the security forces. He and his family have been in the Malaysian jungle for 14 years, and while they want to return home, they still don't trust the army. I'm sure if I stayed back in my homeland, I'd have trouble sleeping at night. We live here modestly, but it's better to be free from concern about being arrested. The separatist groups say that there are tens of thousands of people from southern Thailand living in this border area of Malaysia who either directly or indirectly support the fight for independence. And most of the group's leaders also live in this area of Malaysia where they are largely left alone to continue to run their operations. Among those hiding in Malaysia, this active member of a hardline group believed to be responsible for most of the attacks which have killed thousands in Thailand. He's listened to what the Thai army has to say but doesn't think much will change. The peace efforts from the government aren't bad, but when the talking is finished there is no progress. We still have no confidence in them. Unofficial peace talks have also resumed, but until they see tangible change, many may choose to stay away. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Kelantan State, Malaysia.